Hello, it is Kirby from the Asheville View. I hope everyone's doing all right out there. Today we have a special guest, Stu Helm. He is the food fan. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Kirby. Thanks for having me on The View. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Aisha. And I, you and I are just meeting for the first time, and I'm a fan of you too. But, uh, <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's Aisha. great to have you on the show. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm a food blogger, and I've been writing about food in Asheville for about seven years. Um, and I also, until recently, I gave food tours uh, three or four days a week. And so I'm very connected to the Asheville food scene. And my nickname, The Food Fan, uh, I'm also kind of known around town as kind of the go-to food guy, if people have questions. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, I was reading your blog about um, the best of March, and it had me drooling by the very end of it. <laughs> All the food looked so good. It was like, oh. But, um, yeah, well, thanks for saying that. That's a real mission accomplished for me. I try to make the food look and sound very appealing. So I know you're really big on like local farmers and local food makers. What can we do in such a stressful time um, with a lot of restaurants and small businesses closing down to support our local farmers and food makers? Well, this is real important right now because the local independent food scene is very unique in Asheville. There's really no other city that has quite what we have. And it depends heavily on tourism, but it also depends very heavily on the locals to support the local businesses. And right now, I can just be honest and say a lot of the restaurants are afraid of the tourists because they haven't really been socially isolating in other parts of the country. And so for us as locals, we can really support local restaurants and shops by using their takeout and delivery services. Like that, like, I know we're in so-called phase two right now, but that's a meaningless title. Things are not better today than they were yesterday. And in fact, they're getting worse all the time. And so we should still, as locals, practice social distancing and utilize takeout and delivery as much as possible. Yeah, and I actually just read on CNN that North Carolina itself had its biggest jump of COVID-19 cases yet so far since opening things up a little bit. So True. And our numbers are still very low in terms of case counts. And I hate talking about death and stuff. But, um, you know, our death count here in Buncombe County is still relatively low, very, very low, you know, single digits low. Um, but that could all change. And I feel like those low numbers are a result of our diligence of social distancing. But, yes, the restaurants need to survive in the meantime. And now that the state has opened up, so to speak, they're not going to get the breaks on rent and bills that they were during the shutdown. So it's more crucial than ever for us to... And no, not everybody can afford it, but if you can, try to order takeout or delivery two, once a week, twice, three times or more if you can. Um, so that, that's the best way to support the local businesses. And I also um, read an article, and it's saying it, it was the Chuck E. Cheese idea that ordering through some of the food delivery services is not always the best way to support local. It's ordering directly from them and picking it up so that they don't have to pay those extra service fees. That is true. Um, some restaurants offer free delivery within like a radius of the restaurant. Three miles is kind of typical. Um, Kickback Asheville is our local food delivery service. Mm -hmm. if you support another local business and you need delivery. Um, go to Kickback AVL is what it is. Kickback oh, okay. .com. Uh, run by a woman named Jenny and Jenny is awesome. You know, so she's, she's one of us. She's part of the food scene and she's really taken on a lot like her number it's been great for her business let's be honest because mm -hmm. the number of clients has just jumped but as a small business person that's been difficult for her and so we need to support her and support the local uh, businesses but yes curbside pickup is still very is safe and um, recommended so what was that um, local uh, delivery service again it's called kickback avl okay yeah, kick kick back back. ABL. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of great restaurants. I ordered from Rocky's Hot Chicken Shack just two days ago, and yum, hot and delicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so with things flying off the shelves and a lot of stores being out of places, what are some maybe like local niches or little secrets that we can do to get fresh produce and things like that? Okay, I'm I'm glad you asked that, Kirby, because 
right now a lot of the real small restaurants are doing are sort of changing into small marketplaces in the meantime you know we've got this sort of whole meantime uh, where there's the outbreak but no vaccine so we got to do stuff in this meantime and they don't want to close up but they're small so they can't really open up and be like come in and dine so they've turned into markets they have connections to the local growers the local farmers they have connections that we as eaters don't have but like our favorite produce and our favorite meats come from local farmers and so the restaurants still have those connections so some of them are just opening up two or three days a week and selling food directly to the public now some of them are selling par cooked meals which are great we brought home a whole fish stuffed with herbs and lemon from vivian a great restaurant in the river arts district and we cooked it at home and it was as close to eating out as i've experienced since wow. this went down it's it's a little bit different takeout is takeout it comes in a box it depletes a little bit on the way home but if you get something that's either uncooked or par cooked but prepared by a chef and you finish it off that's pretty good so i, I I say right now support Vivian, uh, Sovereign Remedies, Curate, and Rhubarb. They're all doing little marketplaces, and there might be others that are doing that too. And that's a way for us not just to support those businesses, but to also support the farmers that those businesses are buying from. That's really good to know. Um, so who are some of your local food makers in Asheville, some of your favorite local products you can get at the grocery store? Kirby, do you still have the glass that says Fermente? I, I do, I do. There you Fermenti, go. Fermente, one of my favorites. Not only do you get some really good kimchi, you also get a glass. Yeah, um, yeah so Fermente is, is one of my favorites. And in fact, I gave Meg uh, from Fermente my Food Maker of the Year award. And she makes a variety of products uh, to sell directly to the public or to sell to the restaurants, and then they can sell them to the public. And um, also for all of our vegans and vegetarians out there, there's no evil foods uh, making their products and they never stopped production. They were deemed a necessary business, a part of our food chain from the very beginning. They got like a letter from the government saying you can't close down. So they had to make a lot of really difficult decisions in the beginning to keep running, but they soldiered forth and took a lot of heat on social media for staying open and had to show everybody the letter from the government and everything. So let's support them as well, even if you're not a vegan or vegetarian. And um, there was one other, well, uh, I want to mention Dry Ridge Farms. They're, they're still cranking out a lot of local eggs and stuff that you can pick up from the marketplaces. So, and, and I do want to mention um, that folks should go to a brand new website called um, foodinashville.com and there will be a comprehensive list of every restaurant that's doing takeout and delivery right now. So where would you suggest uh, shopping um, to get those products and where do you where do you prefer to grocery shop? I do all of my grocery shopping at the French Broad Food Co-op right downtown. Okay. They were, yeah they were very early adapters to safe practices, uh, masks, gloves 10 customers at a time can't go into the bulk room anymore you have to ask for your bulk and they bring it to you they put up partitions in front of their cashiers and they still accept cash that is i i, I have i like cash i was a cash business before the shutdown and so i like it that they, they still accept WIC and all of that they're very egalitarian so i like that, mm -hmm. that. They, like people are like oh you can only pay by phone that assumes everybody has the ability to do that um so I like them a lot. And then we, of course, go to the local Ingalls to get uh, stock up. Like we go once or uh, like every two weeks and we buy a bunch of stuff. Now, we don't like raid the toilet paper rack or anything <laughs> unreasonable like that. We just get what we need for the next two weeks, um, you know, like things to drink and stuff like that. So Ingalls, Ingalls is good. French Broad Food Co-op is great. Man, those are my two go-tos. And then two go -tos? Yeah. So sure. how can people watch oh, your videos? Let me do a shout out for Publix as well. I've never been oh, okay. to the Publix, but I know they're doing good social practice, like distancing and shit. So shout out to them. There. Good social Sorry. distancing and good fried chicken. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> so where can people go and check out your blogs that make me drool and watch some of your videos? 
people can please go to stuhelmfoodfan.com, and that's S-T-U, Helm, uh, foodfan.com, and like, please follow me on Facebook uh, with the same moniker, Stu Helm Food Fan, and I, I post to Facebook like obsessively, and I, I do about, a, I try to keep up with my blog pretty good, so yeah. Thank you. It has been really nice to have you on the Asheville View. Oh, it's been an honor and a pleasure, and so nice to meet you, Kirby. I hope we get nice to, to meet you as well. And watch out for those uh, pieces of the uh, sky that are falling down right now. But <laughs> take care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, as long as the earth keeps turning, I guess I'll keep waking up in the morning. <laughs> All righty. Well, right. I will uh, talk to you later. It was good having you. Likewise, good to be here.